Hello. Thank you for coming to your spiritual liaison 123, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Live your best life and life every single day. If you got to watch comedies to make yourself laugh, go ahead and do what you have to do. I watch YouTube comedies and I also watch comedies on Netflix sometimes. Um, Netflix, you can go ahead and you can out promote you. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> um, David Chappelle, his is his, his, his freaking hilarious. Um, one of it's he got so many on there. So Mike Epps is another one is that's funny too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull some cards. I hope everyone is having an amazing life. Freaking forget an amazing day. Forget an amazing week. Forget an amazing month. Just an amazing life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know we be going through, like, some real serious situations. But just sometimes you just got to look at your life and be like, you know what? I'm all good. It's all good. Like, you know what? It's all good. I'm all, I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. So, go ahead. We're going to go ahead and pull these cards right now and see what's coming out. I'm using the Monology Oracle deck and I'm only whatever. That's why I was like shuffling them because whatever's falling out and it was only for some reason. How many fell out? Three. Only three fell out. So I'm using my other tarot cards after this. So the first three is a new romantic cycle begins. The second one is your commitment is being tested. Interesting. And the third one is conclusions are within your reach. So something about um, you, some sort of new romance may be coming or your life or some sort of new romance has just happened. And people are sort of like, they could, they could be sort of like questioning the fact that you all, you, you two are together. Um, nosy folks, you know how folks be. Like all up in your business, their marriage ain't going good, their relationship ain't going good, but they trying to fix they trying to tell you what's going with how you should handle your stuff, right? We know how it is. So something about um something new happening. This could also be with like a new job too that is going on in your life. Um, but it looks more like it's romance, because it says a new romantic cycle begins. Um, and then your commitment is being tested. So there could definitely be people on the outskirts um, or somebody like an ex or something of the person who you're dealing with who is trying to like intercede in your situation, in your relationship, just because they this jealousy is there. Um, some sort of like they want um, they want to see an ending to what you all have started. But it looks like if you both put in that work together, if you all balance out, like keep these people out of your energy, if you keep, if your person keep their ex out, you keep your, if you have a meddling ex, you keep your ex out, they have a meddling ex, they keep their ex out, something about that is going to bring really good results for both of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's something about people in you all's circle that's all up in your business that don't need to be there. Mm -hmm. And I think in another reading, um, I spoke on like people trying to be in your business, like people trying to be all up in your business, all up in your relationship. And they don't need to be. And so your relationship is going to be tested just because you are either allowing people from the outside to come in to look into your business or either they are allowing people to look into your business. But this is the eight of pentacles. So these people could literally be trying to dig up dirt on you or your person, like your person, um, your, your person's ex could be trying to dig up dirt on you. Just so they can present it to your ex. Just because they want your ex to leave you alone. Um, 
Then we have the King of Pentacles, but your ex could, or you, could, you and this person could be very, if you all actually put other people out of your business, you literally could be prosperous together and build some sort of like financial stability. Um, if they get in there, if they can literally stay the course and you can stay the course of keeping people out of your business, you both could be very successful and stable if you decide to keep people out of your business and you all could have some serious success that people see. They Somebody could have actually done like a birth chart reading on both of you um, and could literally see or like got a tarot reading on you to get some sort of information and they could see that you all will be successful together and that's what they're trying to prevent because there's some haters. They, can't, they don't know how to be nothing else. Um, Ace of Wands and then we have the justice card. So these people are literally, um, they're going to try to unbalance your relationship. And this could be through gossip. They literally could be trying to bring in gossip that you all, or like some sort of like rumors, um, and, and like speaking negativity over your relationship, like wishing something negative over your relationship but something about if you all actually work really hard if you work really hard together you will have a success and prosperity and stability regardless of what they're trying to do you definitely will have balance in your wishes and things like that, like some sort of like thing, it's going to prosper and like, you know, it's going to come true. You all are going to be happy, but it's going to take you both keeping people out of it, though. And I did a reading very similar to this, I think it was a few days ago. So it's interesting that I'm getting this energy again. Because it's something about you keeping people out of your business. So this could be your partner who is letting people in your business. If it's not you, Pisces, if it is you, Pisces, I would advise you to keep people out of your business, out of your relationship. Please do that. But if it's not you and if it's your partner, they really need to keep people out of you all's business because your relationship is not going to survive this. If they continue to allow family, friends, or like co-workers, somebody, an ex, somebody who they are allowing to, they're allowing somebody to intercede in your, um, in, you, in both of you all's lives. And like stunt that growth of your relationship just because they, they may look at this person or these people as being people who have their best interests at heart. But these people don't, they're not even like successful in their own right. In some way, something is hidden. Some, they're, they're not seeing like the forest from the trees. Something is hidden about what these people are trying to like. Sh like these people could literally be secretly jealous of your person. Like they literally could be secretly jealous of the fact that you could have come into your person's life and brought a lot of prosperity. Just encouraged your person to be a better human being and the people around them aren't benefiting from them being good anymore they could be only it could be beneficial to them if this person is always struggling like you know how crabs in a barrel are like this person could literally have a family who a lot of people in the family are struggling around them. And you could be throwing this person a lifeline. And they're 
family is jealous because you're throwing them a lifeline because they're not being thrown a lifeline. They don't have anybody who sees value in them. So you could see value in your person and literally is like you're fishing out that lifeline. You're giving them what they need to get. But they could be so busy giving it to so many people around them. It's literally keeping them stuck and at the bottom too. And they don't see that. But their family or friends or people around them do see that. And that's the reason why they are trying to prevent them from getting, like having prosperity with you. They're trying to cause an unbalance in your life. And both of you, they don't want to see you all here equally balanced. They don't want to see that. They want this person to stay stagnated at the bottom. They want this person, they're hiding their real feelings about, they know that you're bringing prosperity in this person's life and they're hiding the truth. They're like telling this person, like you're not a good person and this person, you're not good for them and you need to stay, they need to stay away from you and all this stuff. But they don't even feel like that inside. They probably wish they had somebody like you to help them out of a bind. To bring them some sort of success and some sort of justice and, and equal balance in their life. This could be somebody like a Libra or Libra, somebody who has Libra in their chart. Mm. And then at the end, we have Queen of Pentacles. You could be, you could be in your Queen of Pentacles status, and they these people see that. And because of that, it's just like they are very envious of that. And at the bottom of this, I don't know, hold your vision, fixed moon. Something about, again, they're hiding something from this person. They don't want you to see this person. And I said this was the bottom. That wasn't even the bottom of it. Be bold and make the first move. That's the bottom of it. So it's basically, but I'm going a, I'm to a roll with both of them because it was meant for me to see that first card. Um, hold your vision. And that's like holding your space. So if this person has family members or friends around them constantly telling them negativity about you, like why all the reasons why you should not deal with them. I mean, I'm sorry, all the reasons why they should not deal with you. But yet they can't even help this person the way you're helping this person. And this person see it, but they just don't want to let that familiar, that family go, that that those so-called friends go. They don't want to sever those ties, those ties, not ties, but ties. They don't want to sever that just because they need them for something. It could be an ego thing. It could be a thing where... You know, I need my family. I need, I like, if I don't have them, I don't have anybody. Even if their family are the very people that's keeping them down. Mm hmm Okay. So, you know, sometimes things like this happen in life. And so, Pisces, you have got to hold your own. Um, if you constantly are, like, telling this person, because I'm getting the energy for real, for real, like, and I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't want to get into that, like, really dark energy um, cause this family really is like, they don't, they don't like you. This person's family does not like you. Um, and I can feel the energy. Like they are literally jealous of what you're doing for this person. They're jealous of the fact that you're, even if you're not doing something like financially, you could be doing something like just motivating this person to do better for themselves. You could be motivating them to go back to school. You could be motivating them to just do things that is going to better themselves. But their family or friends, somebody is very close to this person who does not like that because they feel insignificant. And so they look at you coming in this person's life, upgrading them, is making them feel even more insignificant. And so... They're like attacking you from a place of insecurity. This person's security system is attacking you, Pisces, 
because they are literally insecure and your person don't see it. They could even see it, but just don't have that strength, that inner strength, that backbone to stand up to their own family, their own friends and say, you know what? I'm grown. You all are grown. I never interfered with who you are, who you were dealing with. Please do not interfere with who I'm dealing with. Um, I don't ask to come first before your wife, your husband, your baby mother, your your child's mother, your child father. Um, I don't ask to come, you know, so don't ask to come first. Like this person could literally be struggling so hard. Could could see so much um value in you, but they just seem to be like at a crossroads, like they are just like pulled. It's so, these people are really causing an imbalance in their life. They are pulled. They don't even know they're struggling like with what to do. It's really unbalanced. And Pisces, you could be suffering due to um, the fact that these people are like old in your person's ear causing this, knowing that you all could be like very well off without them. But due to them being all in the mix, Pinocchio knows, all in the mix, you all are facing problems, but your person is going to have to grow a backbone and tell these people like, when I'm with my woman, when I'm with my man, leave me alone. Like, I, I need my time with them. I need to, to have that relationship. This per, I don't know. Something about this per, I don't know why. Like, what is it? It's something. I'm I just see a blockage. It's something that's blocking them from telling their family and friends to mind their fucking business. Like, mind your fucking business. Like, y'all need a big-ass hug. Like, mind your business. Stay out of mind. Something, they're afraid of losing their family support or their friend support. for some, They could be in a very fragile situation with their family and friends. Maybe they didn't have, like, the best. Maybe they were, like, some sort of outcast. And the family... Or with their friends or something. So they don't know how to really stand up to these people. Now that they have somebody in their life who's really rooting for them. Um, and maybe their family and friends always sort of benefited from that. Like, okay, you're the outcast. I'm better than you. I'm doing good. At, I'm doing good. You know, you're not. Something like that. And this person could be finally doing good in their life. Maybe compliments of you, Pisces, and their families see that. And it's like, oh shit, no, how dare you be doing okay or better than me? You were doing horrible. Now you're doing good because this person that came, this Pisces that came in your life. Like you're not to be, you're not to be. You're not about to be doing just as good as me or better than me. People will people will love you as long as you're not doing. They'll help you or root for you as long as you're not doing as good as them. As long as you're not doing better than them, they'll root for you. You could be doing good as long as you're not doing good as them. And that's the energy I get from these people. And your person don't quite see that. They, they feel it. But they kind of brushing it off because they're convincing themselves is that they can't believe what they're seeing because they need these this family. They need these friends. You're expendable. They keep trying to convince themselves. You're expendable. You can I can let go of Pisces. I don't, but they something about you that they see as the Queen of Pentacles. Lucky, prosperous, driven, just on your game, on your throne. The other people around them see you this way too. And this is what they're envying. 
They don't want you to have, they don't want you to bring prosperity in this person's life because they am, they secretly enjoy this person being at rock bottom, struggling. They secretly like that. But your person don't see it though. It's nothing you can really say. As long as you try to tell your person this, they are going to fight you on this. I can see that much. They are literally, as long as you tell your person that, mm, mm, okay, mm. they could even have not only like, not just regular, they could have a child who demands their attention, a grown child, not just like a minor child, a grown child who literally interferes in their love life. They could even have a parent who is interfering something this these aren't just like regular people these are people who are like really close to this person who can say they they can say words to this person to literally break them down mhm mm mhm mm and cause and if if they this person don't do what they say they're going to cause a lot of conflict in this person's life. If this person, they are very controlling. If they do not, if your person does not do what these people say, they're going to cause like serious issues to cause this, your person a lot of heartache and pain. They they could be like the type of peaceful, like like for instance, just say if it's like an adult child, like, Dad, you were never there for me. You know, and you weren't there for mom. And that's why she's struggling. You know, that's why I'm struggling because you weren't there for us. So instead of saying, okay, the years we've lost, let's try to regain those, but I want to take accountability because whether you were there for me or not, at some point in my life, I had to take accountability for myself, right? And I can't quite blame you completely if mom had kids by numerous men and none of them were there to help. Mom, and I'm not saying this is everybody's situation. I'm just being honest. But something about this child or this family is is willing to cause a lot of conflict in your person's life if your person chooses you over them. This family is toxic as hell. And your person doesn't realize it. They could see it. They and let me correct that. Because they could see it. They could they could realize that they come from a very toxic per family. Um, it's just that they feel like they need their family. Without their family, where would they be? This again, something about this person, it's some sort of blockage though. Like I can't quite put my finger on it. Something about this person. Something of, I'm getting the energy like their family is like abusing them without them knowing, like emotionally or something. Somebody like their child, they could have an adult child who is like manipulating them, like, oh, you were never there for me. And like literally using that as always a reason to like sabotage any relationship um with their parent like with someone else uh, or it's just it's sad though it's like really like 
that energy like you the relationship could really it the relationship could really begin on a beautiful level but it's going to keep being tested by this dark family by this family who has so much stuff to hide they're hiding the fact that they're secretly jealous of your person this person's own family is jealous of them and that is what the real issue is this person is going to have to come to grips they're going to have to they're going to have to make a conclusion of like okay come to the conclusion that my, my own family don't want to see me happy what am i supposed to do am i supposed to keep letting different women go letting different men go to make them happy your person is going to have to wake up one day and it's so sad because when they wake up, their family probably abandoned them. They're going to cause a bunch of conflict. They may have only one or two people standing beside them at the end of all of this. You may be one of them and only one other family member. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person got like, they got some real like people in their family or around them who don't want to see them happy with you. And that's 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 an unfortunate situation because for real, for real, it should be they shouldn't even be in y'all business. Like I know not to get in certain family members' business, just none of my family. I don't get in people's business. I don't care. Like, like whatever happens in their relate, if they choose to share with me, that's one thing. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to be all in their business and like try to predict how they should have a relationship with their husband or their wife or their boyfriend or girlfriend or or their child's mother or their child's father. That is literally none of my or my parents. I wouldn't dare get into their business. Like even if they moved on to someone outside of my mother or my father, I wouldn't dare like try to. You know, every time I call you, you need to answer the phone. And I don't care if you with her or him or like I wouldn't I could I couldn't see myself being like that's a miserable child who refuses to grow up. Who's literally trying to sabotage their own parents life, their own parents love life. And any parent who's going along with that is blind. Grow up, like wake up and see what your child is doing. No, no woman or man is willing to deal with some grown ass fucking toddler. Like, I'm sorry. Like that shit. When are you going to wake up and realize your child is the problem? <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny either. So it's just, you know, something about this or this could literally, I hate to say this too. This could be their parent. This could literally be your person's parents who are like a mom or a dad or both who are trying to like sabotage our relationship. I've seen it. I've seen it so many times before. And so, and the person be, you know, they're like so focused on like, this is my mom or this is my dad. So they can't even make a sound decision. They're literally basing their whole relationship with you off of what their mom and dad has said. They haven't even grown into an adult mentally. So their mom or their dad control their relationships in life. It's just scary. So, um, and 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 I'm not talking about some some teenager or some like young adult, like some somebody in their early 20s. I'm talking about somebody who's you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, still listening to what letting their kids run their life or letting their 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 um parents run their life. It's just it's really sad. Okay. All right. So anyway, I just hope you all have an amazing um day. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope give me some feedback in the comment section like I love your I love you guys feedback um you just always let me when you let me know things resonated that means a lot to me because like um it just lets me know that it's not just one person in the world who is going through this or two or three people in the world who's going through this but it's an abundance like it's just not just happening to one or two people um so that that really does help 
Um, again, so a lot of these readings, I just, I'm like, I'm picking up on other people's energy because this is not even happening in my life. So how is this, how am I reading? How am I feeling like this? Um, so I just, you know, but I'm glad that I'm able to pick up on other people's readings and then I'm able to at least let you all know, um, that what I picked up on and then you relayed that back to me that it did resonate. Um, and so I appreciate that. Sending you nothing but good vibes. I'm sending you healing. I'm sending you great energy. I hope that you are in good good health. I hope your family members are in good health. I hope your pets are in good health. And I pray that everyone is doing amazing. Get your hydration on, your workout on, everything that you need to do to be in your best energy. I love you guys. Sending you so much, so much, so much love and gratitude for supporting my channel. Thank you. Talk to you soon.